Good morning, everybody. Um, I'd like to say good morning and hello to all of you. Um, I'd also like to let you know I'm really not that much of a morning person, so I apologize if any of this recording is going a little bit wrong. Let me turn on a bit of the music. And let me turn down Winamp because it's really loud for some reason. <sighs> so I've just been experimenting around a little bit with uh, getting the PC Engine emulator to work and testing out some games for that. Uh, apparently they had Wizardry 2, or uh, one Wizardry 1 through 5 on there and it has its own little excellent music arranged version with the CD music and whatnot. Only problem is that all the language is in Japanese. I was kind of hoping that they did it where it was like inside of the SNES version where they had it between English and Japanese. Uh, translations, but they don't. It's just Japanese for that, which is kind of bad because it has some really nice music on it, too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing all morning, that and uploading stuff. Let me check to see how we are on goods. And we're pretty good, though I'm going to want to soft those gongs, so we'll town portal over to Freehaven. Let me turn up the sound effects a little bit. I do hope that the sound of everything isn't a little bit off. I'm going to take a look at this after I get everything adjusted this morning. Um, but for right now, I'm just trying to wake up, trying to realize where it all is we need to go. Ooh, neck, neck. I think it's right here. Yep. That person spies gongs. And I think that's the last time we'll ever see him again inside the game. We won't need to his services ever again, I do believe. Town portal back to back, back to Blackshire. Oh man, I'm so glad we got that plate armor of Zeus. That's very good. All right, now this would be our next little dungeon that we're going into. The Lair of the Wolf. A foul smell wafts, wafts from the entrance to these caves. The howl of a wolf can be heard from the distance. Nasty looking. What gave you that feeling? Only those skull piles and burning rocks? <laughs> One sec, folks. And welcome back. And we are exploring the lair of the wolf. I don't believe that lycanthropy is something that can actually be inflicted upon your characters. However, I know that they do disease you, and the disease will kill you. So if you get inflicted with that disease, just cure it. It's not an outright thing, it's just the same as any other disease, but yeah. Alright, now since we have our perception up to mastery, we should be able to search these. And there you go. As long as you have high enough perception, you can search these skull piles, and you won't be affected by them. Notice this person doesn't have that, though, and whenever he goes to search the skull pile of... Well, which way did I go? Okay. Yeah, whenever... See, she can fi she can pick up stuff, but she can't. If she, somebody without the proper perception tries to search a skull pile, they'll get inflicted with whatever the skull pile has inside of it. Although, it seems like the reward is really not quite worth the skill points, but somebody has to have perception. Might as well be her. Might as well take advantage of the stuff we can get from the skull piles, too, while we're at it. Alright. Skull pile of insanity. Gives you another scroll. Skull pile of death. Apparently, the stronger the affliction is inside the skull pile, the better the scroll you find from it. But I mean, still, it's like, you know, whoop de doo it's just a skull. It's not like it's that important. Huh. Mm. 
their toxic clouds are hitting us, they just don't do anything. Um, that's interesting. And that should do us pretty good, I think. Uh, I'll cast shield just in case. I don't think it works on Toxic Cloud, but you never know. Whoa. Uh -oh. Those oozes are getting awfully close. Fortunately, it doesn't matter. Our little burst type spells that we have more than capable of dispatching these things. Body cure poison. Now I'm gonna shrap metal these two. Cast dark. No, wait, shrap metal is physical. It won't hurt them. I almost wasted a spell there. I thought this was going to be the last time, or I thought that we saw that we'd seen the last of the oozes and swordsmen. I guess I was wrong. Although it does make sense, not every individual werewolf inside of here is going to be turned into a werewolf. So yeah, weakness, skull pile of weakness, skull pile of death, skull pile of weakness. Make sure that you have the person with the, the person with the uh, highest perception highlighted. Otherwise, you'll do the accidental stupid thing and you'll have somebody die by looking at the skull pile. Not a good thing to have happen. And I better fireball those over here. Whoa. And it's kind of nice to see this because we are really clearing this place out pretty fast. I guess whenever you're capable of killing dragons, werewolves kind of put a backseat to that. Though. By my understanding, we're not even truly inside of the layer of the wolf yet. We still have to go through that thing, which is a giant wolf's mouth, in order to get into the actual inner sanctum, where there is a ton of werewolves, by my understanding. I don't even understand why I'm currently digging through all these piles. And I guess it's nice to be able to have the extra gold pieces, but it's really not worth that much. And then you add on to the, the fact that you can only use scrolls on the person who they themselves are currently afflicted with the disease, or whatever the affliction is. And if it's anything that prevents them from acting, say, the unfortunate condition of being dead, then they can't really use a scroll. Check a fireball in right there. Check another fireball in right there. I 
And this is mainly the reason why a group of archers, like if you had a party full of five archers, encounters like this would go by so fast that it's like they wouldn't even get to close range. I mean, this is.